so far. Today is exciting because this is always one of my favorite videos to film. I'm going to be sharing five different cozy autumn inspired drink ideas and we have some really good ones this year. We have a maple donut latte, a pumpkin cream coffee, caramel apple cider, and more. So it's going to be really good and I just love how these autumn drinks really ignite all your senses. You smell them and then all the colors and textures. It just really kind of gets you in that autumn spirit no matter what the weather is looking like. So cheers to that and cheers to this cozy season. This video is also extra special because I'm collaborating with one of my YouTube friends, Natalie Bennett. She is so talented and such a beautiful soul. She does a lot of lifestyle videos like I do, a lot of home content, and she specifically focuses on motherhood and minimalism, which I just love to learn about and I love to see her different experiences with being a mother. And I just love her gentle yet strong aura and she always makes the yummiest looking coffees and drinks as well. So definitely check out her channel. And without further ado, let's get right into the first recipe. And just so you know, all of the ingredients and measurements along with the directions will be in the description. So don't feel like you need to take notes or anything as we're going through this. It's all there for you and easy to access. So hope you enjoy. First up, we have my personal favorite, and this is the Maple Donut Latte. It has flavor notes of cinnamon, brown sugar, and of course, maple. It is just such a cozy palette of flavors, and it really pairs nicely with a donut, so this is definitely one of my favorites. So you're gonna add in your milk of choice, and then I also added in some heavy cream because that just really helps the milky froth to be nice and thick and creamy. And then I sprinkled in some cinnamon and maple syrup, of course. Then I also added some maple syrup to the bottom of my coffee mug. And as I brewed my espresso, doing this was really able to take the maple syrup through every part of the drink. So that's a great little tip. And you can froth up your milk any way you choose. I know handheld frothers are such a great tool. I'll use that for another drink later on. And if you don't have an espresso maker, you could always make the little maple milk mixture, it was a tongue twister, to just add on over coffee or cold brew or whatever it may be. But it's just such a fun autumn flavor combination to enjoy. espresso was brewed I just poured over my milk mixture and added a little garnishes added some cinnamon and then I also had this yummy pumpkin spice donut hole that I <laughs> cut a little slit in and added that to the rim on top Now we have our caramel apple cider and this one is specifically for my non-coffee lovers. I see you, I've got you, and this is such a fun treat. It kind of reminds me of butter beer in a way because of the whipped cream we have on top. So I'm gonna take my apple juice and I also just cut up some apple slices and we're gonna add that to a pot because we're gonna let it simmer for a bit and let all those flavors permeate. And I also added in my cinnamon stick and some other spices and a squeeze of lemon juice to add a little tang. While it simmers, you can stir it every so often and then work on your whipped cream. Heavy 
Krispy Kreme and some caramel. And I also made these leaf shaped ice cubes. Again, this is not necessary whatsoever, but hey, it's pretty fun. So I made those and then I added some caramel to my glass, which I also put in the freezer for a little bit. So it'd be nice and frosty. And then I tried to do a cool design with the caramel, which didn't totally work out, but hey, it's still fun looking. And then I let my cider cool after it has been on the stove for a little bit. And then once it's nice and cool, you can pour it into your glass and then top with your whipped cream. we always have to add a little bit of flair so I drizzled some caramel and then added these little chocolate leaves that I made in the same molds that I used for the ice cubes and added such a fun touch this pumpkin cream coffee is another one of my favorites because it's just classic simple and delicious it's kind of like the pumpkin cream cold brew at Starbucks, but we have a warm version. And essentially we're just making a pumpkin flavored whipped cream to top our coffee with. So you can really simplify it when you put it that way. And it's just such a great basic go-to autumn coffee recipe. So I just brewed my coffee in my French press and then I made my whipped cream mixture. So I added in my pumpkin, my vanilla syrup, and then some heavy cream and coconut milk. Again, this is another one where you can kind of decide how sweet you want it. If you prefer more of like a treat and more sugar, you could even add, you know, a teaspoon of sugar or a bigger serving of vanilla or simple syrup and that'll really heighten the sweetness for you. So once my coffee was done brewing, I just added that to my mug and then topped it with my pumpkin cream and a little bit of cinnamon. we have whipped pumpkin pie brew and this one is such a treat with a capital T so this is an ode to last year which we don't need to go into but one of the great things about 2020 was how whipped coffee was so popularized and it's just such a fun trend and we added a little autumn spin to it so you're gonna take all your pumpkin pie spices which I just use the combination of ginger allspice nutmeg and cinnamon but you can always just purchase the pumpkin pie spice seasoning and then I added in my sugar some vanilla syrup and then of course our raw canned pumpkin and this is another thing that you can kind of tweak to be as sweet as you prefer and I personally don't like it too sweet so I used less sugar which unfortunately makes it less thick but it still is you know a bit thicker and great to top it and then I also took this to the next level by making pumpkin shaped coffee ice cubes because why not so once you have your ice in your cup, you can pour in your milk of choice and then top it with your whipped coffee mixture. And I also added some candy corn for some pizzazz and then just mixed it all together to enjoy. our last recipe which is the vanilla chai another one that is great for my tea lovers and vanilla chai is just such a classic autumn recipe it is like a warm hug with every sip you take and for this we're going to take some water and our spices you're also going to need a black tea bag 
and some vanilla bean and this will just really help that vanilla flavor i actually had a vanilla chai tea bag so that was perfect but if you don't have a chai tea bag just use any black tea bag you have and it should work nicely and you can bring in those vanilla flavors in other ways through syrup or a little bit of vanilla extract and once your water and spice mixture is finished, you can pour it into your teapot and then just wipe out your pot you used for the mixture. And we're gonna add in some milk and maple syrup to sweeten. Again, you can tweak the maple syrup to kind of fit your preference if you prefer sweeter drinks or less sweet drinks. And I like to add a few dashes of vanilla syrup to add in a little bit more of that sweet vanilla flavor. That's it. I really hope you enjoyed these recipe ideas. Let me know if you end up recreating any. And again, you can check out Natalie's channel for some more cozy coffee inspiration. But thanks so much for watching and can't wait to see you soon. Days without water along the sun so bright.